let's understand location quotient now this is a very interesting way to understand or measure the concentration whenever we are doing any kind of research we either want to understand the concentration of something or dispersion of something now to understand each of these phenomena there are various methods or various techniques that are used one of these technique is what is known as location quotient so location quotient is a very simple concept where we are trying to find out any aspect in a smaller unit in contrast the same aspect in a bigger unit so i have a very simple example for you this is a state let me name it as xyz within this xyz i have various districts let me name those as a b c and d i want to understand the number of agricultural laborers in any of the districts of this state xyz so what i do is with this state xyz i take the number of agricultural laborers now i take the agricultural laborers for example in district a now my agricultural laborers in district a divided by the total laborers in district a would give me the scenario just for district a but in the location quotient what i try to do is i try to compare it to the phenomena that runs in the state as well so what i do is i divide this whole value with the total number of agricultural laborers in the state xyz divided by the total number of laborers that are there in the state xyz and this gives me the location quotient now if i say my location quotient is 1 what does this mean the proportion of the agricultural laborers which are present in the district a and the proportion of the agricultural laborers that are present in the state are same and it explains the concentration if my location quotient becomes more than 1 that means it is more concentrated the agricultural laborers are more concentrated in district a in contrast to the state and if the ratio is less than 1 what does it imply definitely you are right so it implies that there is less concentration of agricultural laborers in district a as contrast to the state x y z now this was a simple example to explain uh, let me explain it through a simple formula so we have pij which is the population of any sub aspect so in this case we took agricultural laborers it could be any other sub aspect of a bigger aspect that we could take uh, into account for example let's say literacy so i say number of rural literacy or uh, the number of urban literates in contrast to the total number of literates in the district versus the total number of rural or urban literates to the total number of literates in the state so this could be any quantity so i take pij as a sub aspect or a sub quantity that is there in the district then pi is the total number of laborers Uh, or the total number of units that is present the total population of that particular aspect in the district in contrast to that pj is the sub aspect present in the state divided by p which is the total population in the state so that is how we understand location quotient now what is the benefit there are four indispensable important concepts that we need to understand for a location quotient it's very very effective why because it is dimensionless since my numerator as well as the denominator i am taking are the equivalent ratios the final value turns out to be dimensionless there is no dimension attached to it and therefore it makes it uh, a very important a uh, concept or simply i can put it is the ratio of ratios that is there so one ratio divided by another ratio and therefore we call it ratio of ratios the next is it is comparable how it is comparable i am able to compare a district to a state so i am able to compare the concentration in the district vis a vis the concentration in the state and therefore it is comparable then what we had already discussed is if the location quotient is 1 it implies that the proportion of that population segment in the district is equal to the proportion at the state level so in this the same example that we took for the agricultural laborers we are able to understand that the proportion of agricultural laborers in district a is equivalent to 
the proportion of laborers in the state x y z but if my concentration is more than one the location coefficient is more than one that means there is more concentration that means there are more agricultural laborers in a district a in contrast to the state and that gives me a lot of research findings so probably if i have to start any agricultural allied activity i would prefer not any other district but district a the simple reason being there is more concentration of agricultural labor so my labor labor cost would be significantly reduced so there is how we try to use the various measures of concentration that we study the next is if the location coefficient is less than 1 that means for some reason there is less agricultural uh, laborers that are present in that region so there could be n number of reasons associated to it one of the simple reasons which could associate is probably the land there is not good for agriculture or um most of the agricultural laborers are occupied in some allied activity so the role in the agriculture is very very less so we have to find out based on our research the area that we are studying we understand how this measure of concentration actually works so this was a very very simple example of understanding the location coefficient how do we apply it to our research project and how do we try to analyze the findings so analysis of the findings is also very very important whenever you are applying any of the concepts we would be covering many more such important measures and indexes in the upcoming sessions so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead